All right, so I'm gonna try out a new method of, for me anyway, a new method of making biochar with a with a kiln um, that I made. I'll show that a little later. Um, I'm basically starting off with this pretty large pile of cutoffs from the sawmill. There's a lot of hardwood and poplar in here. Um, no pine or anything like that. Uh, so I'm cutting it into three or four foot lengths approximately um, with a chainsaw and then loading it up in the tractor bucket and I'm gonna carry it over to where I'm gonna burn. Um, I'd like to burn here, but um, I don't have a water source here. So I'm kind of gotta bring it over to where the hose is. Um, just to, just to make sure I got something there to, to control the burn and, and quench it off when it's done. So anyway, here's the first step is uh, hunking it up into a little bit smaller pieces. And so this is the start of the burn. Uh, I just made kind of a teepee with a bunch of old paper and cardboard and beer boxes and stuff in the middle of it. Put a little bit of used motor oil on it and lit it up. Um, you can kind of see the kiln I made. It's pretty flimsy, uh, maybe not flimsy is the greatest word, but it's really light and portable and cheap. Um, I, it's just old roofing tin panels. I cut into two foot long sections and then uh, screwed them together with these uh, self-drilling, self-tapping screws. Um, I put it in a fairly level place where I had burned already before, so the grass is not recovered from that burn yet. Um, I got it kind of as tight into the ground as possible. I just kind of went around with a stick and kind of banged on the end of it so it would uh, kind of pound itself in. Uh, the idea being that you want the uh, the lower the lower coals to kind of get uh, choked out by the the new uh, the new uh, fuel you put on the top. So as you add fuel, the the lower levels of charcoal or lower lower levels of of uh, coal kind of go out and don't turn into ash. Uh, I've never tried this before, but it's just some of the research I've done. Uh, so you want to kind of have it so there's not a lot of air coming in through the bottom. Otherwise, it'll just burn really efficiently and just all turn into ash. Um, I'm thinking this will keep it contained a little bit better and uh, give me a little bit cleaner burn with uh, a, a, lot less, uh, a lot less work and a lot less waste because I don't have to move the pile or really get into the fire as much from the uh, from the research I've done and some of the videos I've watched. So before I was just making an uncontained pile and it worked, it made an awful lot of coal, but it's, uh, it's not a fun day. So I'm trying to make this uh, a little bit more efficient uh, and a little bit easier on, on me because I am kind of starting to need to make quite a bit. Uh, I've, uh, I'm going through about, I don't know, a gallon or two or three a day um, I, I put it out for my animals, um, just uncrushed, it, separate from their feed, with some molasses, and uh, they really like to eat it. And they're spreading it and charging it with, uh, they're charging it with, uh, you know, gut bacteria, beneficial bacteria, and then spreading it around the pasture for me during uh, rotational grazing, which uh, I think will, in the long run, be beneficial to the pasture, and. Uh, to the animals gut health too so I mean they seem they seem to be really liking it I'm not really doing a whole lot to make them want it so uh, this is all just trying trying it you know trying to see how it goes so anyway this is the this is the process where I'm making just uh, I made like a teepee and now I'm gonna make a good bed of coals out of this uh, this first burn and then I'll start to add to it All right, so it's going pretty good. Uh, I, got, I think I got the feed rate right, and uh, I kind of like that I made the boards about the the uh, length of the diameter of the burn pit, the uh, kiln, I guess you want to call it. Um, it's holding, it's 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 burning pretty clean. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of it. I'm trying I'm trying to get the feed rate right, um, and there's a good bed of coals started. I mean, I still got quite a ways to go yet but I think this is a this might turn out to be a pretty good way of doing it um, you know you still can see the the bare ground underneath so we're still still got a ways to go before the uh, what I'd like to have is the coal kind of the coal be like the whole bottom layer so hopefully after this next uh, 
I put a nice big layer on here. When that burns down, maybe I can kind of knock it down and it'll fall fall in and start start filling up the whole the whole bottom and then I can really start smothering it with the uh, the top layers of of, uh, of uh, fuel. Anyway, enjoy. All right, we're to the point where we're starting to get a lot of good charcoal in the bottom here. It's really hot. Um, I probably should have fed it before now, but I kind of wanted to show what it looked like um, when you're starting to get the uh, the layer of coal on the bottom, um, and it is staying nice and nice and chunky. So what I'm doing is just layering layering the fuel over the top of this until it until it burns up, and then just keep layering fuel on, and it's uh it's getting to be a really good pile. This is much easier than trying to do it with uh, with a free burn. Uh, open air burn uh, with no no container. It, it's much safer. There's the fire's not escaping like it was before when I would just do an open burn. I don't have to touch the fire with tools or go in or really do anything. It's all it all stays in one place. When I was doing the free burn, I was ending up having to do a lot of raking and moving the moving the coals around and and uh, it, it was unpleasant. You know, lots of burns and you're smelling you're breathing smoke all day and just not fun at all uh i may be a third of through of the pile and uh it's burning down really good uh, i'd like to i don't know we'll see how how this thing contains it i mean i want to have there be so much pressure on the side of it this is just really kind of thin roofing metal so um, i'm just gonna keep feeding it and uh if i if i need more i'll just make more in this spot i don't have to move anything until it's done so this is working out real good enjoy Alright, so getting about to the end of the day, um, I didn't quite get through all the wood, but I got through probably two-thirds of it, probably more than that. Um, I want to make sure it's out and and uh, safe for the evening, so I got about half of it quenched on that side. Um, the bigger pieces uh, still are burning, um, basically, you know, they... You, you want to be able to kind of take your whatever you're using to stir it with. You kind of see I'm not hitting any big chunks. I'm able to go all the way through it. It's nice and friable. Um, but this side there's some unburned pieces that I dug out. Um, probably what I'm going to do is just put the whole thing out and maybe try to reburn those those other pieces at some other time and they're close you can kind of see they're starting to break up there's some pretty big chunks a couple of really big chunks here that are just not going to burn in one try so uh, I'd rather just save the save the coal I got in there because right now you can kind of see it turning to ash that's your charcoal going away so Instead of really being concerned about these bigger pieces, I'm just going to quench the whole thing and uh, and uh, save the coal, and then try. And I'll burn I'll burn these these small unburned pieces uh, with the next burn. So I'm real happy with how this worked out. It was a lot less work uh, than what I'm used to, and I got an awful lot of coal. I mean, this thing is probably more than five feet in diameter, and the coal is probably a foot deep or so. So it's it's a lot. It's a lot more than I usually end up making. So yeah, I'm real happy with this method. Uh, real cheap and easy. Uh, made this made this kiln this morning in you know an hour or so for with just stuff I had laying around. It's real light and portable. It's durable enough to to last through a day doing this. Uh, I'll probably get a number of burns out of it. I mean, I don't know how long it'll last, but that's not really too concerning to me. Uh, so yeah, so if you want to make coal, this is a, seems to be an easier way to make a whole lot of it. Enjoy.